The Frankfurter Tor, also known as the Frankfurt Gate, is a very large square. During its renovation, the formerly nameless square only got its name in November the 8th, 1957. At Frankfurter Tor, the structures, square, and street intersection all appear to be part of a protected historic ensemble. If Berlin comes across in your mind as the next travel destination, never forget these areas surrounding Frankfurt at all. Parliament Building This structure is also known as the Reichstag Building. The Reichstag is a historic Berlin building that houses the Bundestag, Germany's lower house of parliament. Architect Paul Wallert designed and built this 47-meter, 154-foot tall structure. It was built to accommodate the German Empire's Imperial Diet. It opened in 1984 and served as the Diet's home until 1933, when it was badly damaged by fire. The structure was abandoned after World War II. The destroyed building was partially restored and made weatherproof in the 1960s but no major restoration was attempted until after German reunification on the 3rd of October 1990, when it was rebuilt by architect Norman Foster. It was once again the gathering venue of the German parliament after its completion in 1999, the current Bundestag. Museum Island. The Museum Island is a museum complex located on the northern tip of Spree Island in Berlin's historic center. It is a major tourist destination in Germany and one of Europe's most prominent museum sites. The Museum Island was built by the Prussian kings between 1830 and 1930, according to plans by five architects, and was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999. The Altes Museum, Neues Museum, Alte National Gallery, Bode Museum and Pergamon Museum are all part of it. Museum Island spans all of Spree Island, north of the Unter den Linden, and includes the Berliner Dom, which is located near the Lustgarten. The Humboldt Forum Museum, which opened in 2020, is housed in the restored Berlin Palace to the south. The Museum Island has been renovated and expanded according to a master plan since German reunification. The James Simon Gallery, a new visitor center and art gallery, opened in 2019. Brandenburg Gate The Brandenburg Gate is a neoclassical monument in Berlin that was erected on Prussian King Frederick William II's instructions following the Batavian Revolution's temporary restoration of order. It was built on the site of a historic city gate that marked the beginning of the road from Berlin to Brandenburg an der Havel, which was once the capital of the Margraviate of Brandenburg. It is located in the western part of the city centre of Berlin, within Mitte, at the junction of the Unter den Linden, immediately west of the Paris Platz. The Reichstag building, which houses the German parliament, is one block to the north. The gate marks the beginning of Unter den Linden, a linden-lined promenade that led straight to the Prussian ruler's regal city palace. The Brandenburg Gate has been a site for key historical events throughout its history and it is now seen not only as a symbol of Germany's and Europe's turbulent histories, but also of European unification and peace. Berlin Cathedral The Evangelical Supreme Parish and Collegiate College, often known as the Berlin Cathedral, is a gigantic German evangelical church and dynastic tomb on Museum Island in central Berlin. Since the 1400s, many constructions have housed the church, which began as a castle chapel for the Berlin Palace. The current college church was built on the orders of German Emperor William II between 1894 and 1905, following the plans by Julius Raschdorf in Renaissance and Baroque revival styles. The listed edifice is Germany's largest Protestant church and a famous dynastic grave in Europe. The cathedral is utilized for state ceremonies, concerts, and other events in addition to church services. Since the East German authorities demolished the memorial church section on the north side in 1975, the Berlin Cathedral has comprised of the big sermon church in the core, the smaller baptismal and matrimonial church on the southern side, and the Hohenzollern crypt, which encompasses an almost entire basement. The historic interior of the church 
which had been damaged during Allied bombing during World War II, had been rebuilt by 2002. There is currently talk of renovating an antique exterior as well. The Berlin Cathedral is arguably one of the city's most attractive churches, with stunning embellishments both outside and within. Pergamon Museum The Pergamon Museum is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a listed building on the Museum Eilang in Berlin's historic center. It was built on the orders of German Emperor Wilhelm II between 1910 and 1930, following plans by Alfred Messel and Ludwig Hoffmann in the strict classicism style. The Antikensammlung, which includes the famed Pergamon altar, the Vorderasiatische Museum and the Museum für Islamische Kunst are currently housed in the Pergamon Museum. Part of the structure will be closed until 2025 for renovation. The Pergamon Altar, Miletus Market Gate, Ishtar Gate and the Professional Way Babylon, the Mashata Facade and the Meissner Fragment from the Epic of Gilgamesh are among the works on display at the museum. East Side Gallery The East Side Gallery Monument in Berlin Friedrichshain is a permanent open-air gallery on Muhlenstraße between the Berlin Osbachnoff and the Oberbaum Bridge along the Spree, on the longest surviving piece of the Berlin Wall. It comprises of a sequence of murals painted directly on a 1,316 meter, 4,318 feet long relic of the Berlin Wall on Mullenstrabe in Friedrichshain Kreisberg in Berlin center. This portion was painted by 118 artists from 21 countries in the spring of 1990, just after the Berlin Wall was demolished. In a large number of paintings on the side of the wall that used to face East Berlin, the artist reflected on the political developments of 1989 and 1990. It is no longer totally conserved due to urban development measures, and only reproductions from 2009 exist today, instead of the originals from then. The Spree's Kreisberg Bank was the true border at this point. The gallery is situated on the so-called Hinterland Wall, which separated East Berlin from the rest of the city. Along these border installations ran Mühlenstrasse, one of the key arterial highways to the south. Due to the geographical constraints, the previously standard concrete pipes had already been erected, resulting in an atypically visually raised inner wall that resembled the outer wall. The gallery is a Denkmal, or Heritage Protected Landmark according to German law. The East Side Gallery is understood as a monument to the fall of the Berlin Wall and the peaceful negotiation of borders and conventions between societies and people. According to the Kunstler Initiative East Side Gallery, an association of the artists involved in the project, which has over 3 million visitors per year. Fernsehsturm Berlin The Berliner Fernsehsturm, often known as the Berlin Fernsehsturm, is a television tower in Berlin, Germany. The government of the German Democratic Republic built the tower between 1965 and 1969 in the Marien neighborhood, adjacent to the Alexanderplatz in the municipality and district of Mitte. It was intended to represent both communist rule and the city. It is still a landmark today, visible throughout Berlin's core and suburban regions. With a height of 368 meters, it is Germany's tallest tower and the European Union's third tallest structure. After the Otsankino Tower, the Empire State Building, and 875 North Michigan Avenue, formerly known as the John Hancock Center, it was the fourth tallest freestanding skyscraper in the world when it was completed. In 2017, it is two meters shorter than the Toretta de Gardemar, half a meter shorter than the Riga Radio TV Tower, and eight meters taller than the Travolja Power Station. The structure is also more than 220 meters taller than the former Berlin Radio Tower, which was built in the 1920s at the city's western outskirts. The tower has become one of the country's most recognizable icons, and it frequently appears with other landmarks in film sets in Berlin, such as the Brandenburg Gate, the Berlin Victory Column, and the Reichstag Building. It is also one of Germany's top 10 most visited sites with over 1 million people each year. Overall, the buildings, squares, and street intersections in Frankfurt to Tour are all part of a protected historic ensemble. Its surrounding areas totally resemble a historic relevance and landmark notability in today's time. 
because the elevation of their dome's towers and their placement makes a noticeable beginning for today's Karl Marx Alley, Frankfurter Tor's architecture recalls the concept of a city entry. That's why it's called Tor, which means gate. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you again in the next video.